I'm John Stewart. I'm Nels Klein. We're from Wilco. And you're watching Mosh Can. For me, the first time we played the LA Greek was like a sort of like um, weird apex. I don't know. It was um, beautiful. I and mean, what, what brought it to mind was the fact we just played the Hollywood Bowl, which was a, a sort of, um, you know, that was just, that's a kind of um, watershed sort of moment for a band. And, and that was just a beautiful evening in September, just in September. And honestly, it, uh, it, it, it ranked uh, up there with, um, with my favorite shows I've ever played. Well, I have a, a couple came to mind actually. Like there was one we did. Uh, I think it's maybe the second time we played Primavera Sound in Barcelona, and uh, on our stage was uh, the Patty Smith Group, and I got to sit in on a song with Patty, which was extremely exciting for me. Then Sonic Youth doing Daydream Nation in its entirety for the first time, uh, and as a huge Sonic Youth fan, that was incredibly exciting. So I was going completely nuts at this point, like really excited, losing my mind. And then we played, and we had a really good show, and the Spanish fans are amazing. And so that was one of my favorites, because there was so much leading up to it to make me happy already, you know. But I also really like this gig we did uh, not that long ago in a ballpark outside of Chicago, because it was really, I don't, I'm not a huge, audience kind of guy. In fact, when I'm playing music outside of Wilco, I'm lucky to get a hundred people at the gig, so it's not like I'm craving to see huge crowds, but it was a massive sort of hometown crowd in this minor league ballpark, and it was just one of those things where just the energy was really up, and I felt like we played really well, and it was just a really s sweet feeling for it to be kind of a, a kick-ass hometown show. I know that when I first was in the band, I can't remember exactly where the gigs were. I know I tried some shenanigans that, like one point where I tried to launch myself uh, off of an amp or something and fell on my ass and it was really, un really unpleasant for the audience, I'm sure, to see the old man fall down. There's ones in Zaragoza in Spain. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we Oasis. played this little cantina called the Oasis in, in Basque country. And uh, and it was just this huge for what us an underplay. It was like playing a, a 200 seat club in this sort of wonder, wonderful old you know uh, cantina and um, and uh, with a really high stage, really Plus, strange spatial it's like sort cabaret of, style. Yeah, and um, you know we couldn't. I think we had just the configuration of how we were on stage was completely weird. We played there twice too, didn't we? And just people were in front of other people, and it, 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 it just met, you know, a thousand degrees, and completely sweaty and wild. This place had a, a, a bar on the stage, but we had to kind of cover it up and put the guitar tech there. He was the, back there with all these bottles of booze. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing back I'm there. sure he was consuming some of them. Well, I mean, I've only been in the band nine years, and I'm 57 years old, so I'm just not really just it's that him. much That's of a what part of it. <laughs> and so I missed out on all the Wilco big time kind of wild yeah, days. Yeah, there's high, major hijinks in the old days. In the, uh, but uh, uh, who would it be now? Who, who could now? Be? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 all boring now. We're pretty it's all boring. straight laced and boring. Um, or else you're not going to get through your. I do, 30s. you know, get a snoot full of tequila in me. Oh and, yeah, we still turn drink. into a wild man. So and there's weed, of course. But I don't mean a wild man. Like I do crazy things. I just act like an idiot. I mean, that's I say stupid things I regret, and I become much more opinionated than usual. Pat might be the most night sort of night owlish, you know, sort of. Out, out drinks, you know, out getting drinks, you know. Well, it usually yeah. involves strip clubs Frankie, or, Frankie or, or and, yeah. And J Frankie and Jason in, where were we in, in, uh, uh, was it, was it Europe? Um, 
Am Amsterdam? There were a well, couple of... Definitely yeah. Amsterdam, Amsterdam yeah. tends to be a mystery. Oh, last, so. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, we all went out to a party in St. Augustine, Florida. Last oh, yeah. time that was great. It was like, a, it was a house party and there were, there were, you know, there were snakes there. I mean, the people I wasn't were holding snakes. That, it was, I, I have pictures actually. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that can be the token sort of crazy night. Josh Goldsmith, uh, I, he's uh, one of our crew guys with a big, big mustache. He, I've got a great picture of him holding a snake, and bleary eyed. And, <laughs> yeah, that was nuts. That was pretty nuts. Well, I sprained my wrist last year, just slipping on a floor in the club. Uh, out to, we were using this club as a, an office when we were playing in the middle of the street in Columbia, Missouri. And I sprained my wrist uh, pretty badly. It's still kind of, that was in October or something, it still kind of doesn't feel so great. But, uh, but I wasn't doing it on the gig, so it's not very interesting. I'm, I'm looking for, for <laughs> I'm looking for wood to knock. I'm really, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I don't really want to say anything. I think that might be wood, but we really <laughs> uh, touch wood. We've been incredibly free of, you know, injury. Yeah, I mean, I'm always doing stuff like this to myself. Yeah, it's I mean, like, little you know, things. Blood blister from sh shredding on the bridge, um, and just you know, this nail is about to fall off because I hit it so hard that it just turned black and it's about to fall off. It's just like some sort of new nail trying to happen here. But that's normal stuff. Yeah, that's like, just that's general day. exhaustion is like, <laughs> just like, is kind of like our, you know, for older, older rock band. We did have a, um, a girl who was, um, who was sort of, uh, a stalker and sort of um, kind of involved with, you know, the band and, and maybe um, and maybe the drug trade of some sort, perhaps. Like this, this is way back, and uh, and, and uh, she sort of kind of went after. I uh, just kind of I don't know. She just sort of got she got sort of frozen out and. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not even funny stuff, it's more tragic. It's, um, she somehow planted a bad review, like she found a bad review of ours and put it in the dressing room of the 930 Club in Washington, D.C. for us to like arrive and see it, and uh, which is, you know, amazing. Kind of, you know, she somehow breached the security, but that's, um, but again, we've been very <laughs> free of that kind of thing as well. And, uh, I did start at one of our tours, as we mentioned before, I had, um, Protracted uh, adult chicken pox, and I, we had to postpone some gigs. And I started the the tour with all these disgusting scabs all over my face, and I hadn't shaved for two weeks because I couldn't. And so I looked pretty bad. And uh, we did a makeup show in Duluth, and uh, in Minnesota, and a guy had made T-shirts that he was selling. And he was a fan, he was a very nice man, uh, that said, Nels Klein gave me chicken pox. And it was a little chicken. And I, I think that's a little odd, you know, as a fan <laughs> thing. And, you know, I hope he made a lot of money. He did give me one. So. <laughs> uh, I would, I, I guess I would have to say just like punch ups, just like, just fights. I mean, I've seen a lot of like, near sex or like people that were, that, you know, people, I, I, you know, um, but I uh, can't say I've ever seen anyone really get it on. Uh, <laughs> maybe, yeah, I would probably festivals, probably either fights or festivals with um, women disrobing, with, you know, when there's in Bonnaroo and there's like, you know, 100,000 people out there and, you know, people are feeling free. Probably just full on nudity. It's hot and humid there too. Um, yeah, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I'd say that's it. I think there was one, there was one point in the band, in the band's, uh, what was, why was, it? people, there were, a lot of people used to throw bras at one point, or bras, or, or just clothes. I think we had this, this thing where we would throw things out in the audience, this is like 97, 98, 99, and, and, uh, the, so there, there was kind of a lot of, for a while, we were like bras sort of thrown on stage, and a lot of more topless, you know, people in the audience. And 
Glasgow, do you remember? Actually, the first oh, yeah. European tour last year. Mm. Quiet, one Sunday morning, completely quiet song at the beginning. A guy gets walked in front of too many times, way at the top of the hall, and we hear, hey, and then just like that, and some guy <laughs> laid a guy out way at the top of the hall, at the top of the hall, and it was unmistakable. And then we heard like, whoa up there it was just you know <laughs> it's just, it's just a little murmuring it wasn't that big of a deal but no, but it Glasgow's was unmistakable you know it's definitely <laughs> a claim to happen there we toured, toured northern canada about three years ago during february and i woke up to discover that i couldn't see out the windows because everything was white and icy and that was terrifying to a man from california um but i should have expected it. Let's see. Uh, last, well, first time in Australia, I think I, I didn't. I woke up at at, uh, at Bondi, not well, like pretty. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, got, I not on the beach, but at, at a house uh, on the beach, in, in in you know, didn't know where I was for a minute. We played a little shorter due to rain a couple of times, but we have come out and played encores in full rain with just plastic over everything and mm -hmm. um, sleet. We had know, a gig Duluth. in Torino in Italy where the electricity went off. That happened in Spain at, at, uh, at one point at too. We had the Primavera. electricity go off at Prima Zavera Sound, but, but uh, the show did go on. I don't think we ever had to really cut Cut the whole show. I think we just came out and played as long as we could in the in in the rain, and and the fans have stood in the rain. If we're playing a shed or someplace, and the rain's coming down. Sometimes right on the twelfth row or something from the roof, it's even harder because mm -hmm. it's coming off the roof instead of just out of the sky. And people just stand there, getting soaked for t while we play for two hours. Atlanta was the <laughs> yeah. wettest one ever. You know, so. so. Uh, uh, Torino, the first time, or oh, not Torino, but um, or Bologna, right? Mm. Was it Bologna or M Milan, where the power went out and Glenn just kept the beat? Oh yeah, going. that was another one. Yeah. And, yeah, and I mean it was out, and Glenn, the drummer, has has really has has recognized if it happens, just keep the beat going, and there's nothing the crowd likes likes better. And honestly, it, you know, I don't know if it's Spain, Spain and Italy, but people tend to remember those shows more than other things. There's some sort of adversity. There's something to, you know, fight I think, against. I think that's why people like to see screw ups in general. It just makes it feel much more real to them. Like I saw this happen. Mm -hmm. you know, I saw the guitar player try to jump off the amp and fall on his ass. Board, yeah, border police for sure. <laughs> Yeah, but we've no. had incidents that maybe shouldn't be discussed at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's um, but yeah, I mean, you know, U.S. and Canada, it's yeah. it's, it's a minefield on both sides, especially post 9/11. And on a hilarious level, our former tour manager in coming to New Zealand, I think the last time we were on tour there, uh, was detained at the border because his passport was too knackered. That was mind blowing to me. It just looked shabby, I guess. And they, I mean, he was detained for a while. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what was going on. And what are they supposed to do? You know, wash it? I don't know. I don't know. Press Iron it? it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>